Hi. Welcome, everyone. Today, I'm going into one of Sarawak's largest national park. Locally, it's known as the Jurassic Park. I heard so much about it that I decided to explore this place for myself. This hidden gem is found in about 10 minutes boat right off the Bengo Dam. From Kulching Center of Sarawak, you will probably have to drive and park your car at the Bengo Dam. While you can take a Grab car or Uber from the city center to the Bengo Dam, your main challenge will be your trip back, as you will unlikely find someone keen to come pick you. Before you plan your trip, you will need to get a good guide who can double up as a boatman for you. Not only must he drive the boat, he must be willing to trek with you. Possess the necessary tools to get you out of the deep forest should a situation arise. The mobile connectivity in this place is very low, so it's impossible you call for help with your mobile phone. A good guide will have a walkie-talkie with him, or her, that is connected with the rest of the guides in the forest. Should a situation arise, they can call for help, and the rest of the guides will be able to respond immediately. This is the first of the nine walking bridges we have to cross over. It looks daunting initially, but once you made it through the second or third bridge, you will find them easy. Along the way, you get to see exotic flowers and plants that you can never see them any elsewhere. Oh, one more thing to add, ideally for such trip, you should arm yourself with the parang, as all the animals you get to meet are wild and very hungry. After about 10 minutes of easy trekking you will be rewarded with the first installment. Don't you think this looks like a curtain? This is a great place for you to make a dip into the cool water from the waterfall, but I'll advise you don't just jump right in on the first sight. Hold your swim a little longer, because the next waterfall you will see is more spectacular. If you have gotten yourself wet now, then get up, continue your climb. By the time you see the next waterfall, you will be tired, washed up, and going to get dirty again. Just about another 10 minutes trek, you will come to see this next beautiful waterfall. Even though the view is magnificent, you must not be too excited to rush towards the waterfall. Reason being, the rocks are very slippery. Should you slip and fall onto one of these rocks, you can be seriously injured. The evacuation work is very challenging. Getting proper medical assistance can be very difficult in this remote forest. Now, it is time we let every breath out. Feel the force of nature. After we had a wonderful time at Jurassic Waterfall, it's time we backtrack to the Curtain Waterfall to enjoy a dip. A little friend came to welcome me, but it knew well this pale in comparison to what we had earlier. Due to a heavy downpour, we took a shelter at a hut that is overlooking the Curtain Waterfall. And now, it's finally a time to say goodbye to the Jurassic Park and move to our next destination, Kampong Sting.
Kampong Sting is about 8 minute speed boat ride away. Here you will get to see fruits, vegetation planted along the way. There is a small community living quietly in this village. And I found some familiar faces here. And very soon, we reach the top. There is a very tall hut built here to look over the entire hideout. You can pitch a tent here overnight to spend a night here under the stars and moon and catch the early morning sunrise above the horizon or watch the sunsets over the beautiful lake. As we leave Kampong Sting, this little friend came to see us off at the shore. As a little bonus, I drove to Passer Panjang Beach, all mainly because I pumped too much petrol in the vehicle I've rented, for only 52 ringgit my car was on full tank, that allowed me to go all over the places in Kuching for the last 3 days.